Oh, would you look at that? We've had sugar and now it is time for spice. So hello there, handy viewers, handy listeners, such as you are. Welcome to this episode five of my Mastering Chefs series in which I take a look at the new forthcoming Cooks Guild. We've had a look at sugar. Now let's take a look at spice. Right then, so she is a winger. And as such is the traditional sort of fast six eight movement speed of um, of wingers, so comparable speed to sugar and um, to cinnamon, who of course can make them both a little bit quicker as well. Now I'll come back to two inch reach, fourteen health, tack five. This is all great winger stuff. Def four, armor zero, reminiscent of. Um, J car in that respect. 2 6 kick again, reminiscent of J car, not great. 2 2 influence. Oh, never mind. Um, playbook is interesting in that it is momentous one on one, momentous guild ball on two, non momentous one dodge uh, on the other two, double dodge, momentous two, tackle. Yeah, it's a five long book, tack five. It, you know, it. It gets better um, every other column. So momentous one space, momentous two space, momentous three high tackle. Not really going to be using it to strip the ball. What it gets interesting is that momentous guild ball on two. Oh, this this is for me where the cooks get interesting. Um, so she has turn up the heat in the same way that roast had to turn up the heat. Do you remember turn up the heat? Three inch pulse. Enemy models within the pulse suffer the burning conditions. Reminder: that is a pulse. You don't have to roll. Um, we kind of all ignored it on roast. Didn't really count for anything. If we go back and look at sugar, she's got fire blast. Um, cinnamon didn't have anything fire related, um, but the kind of sneaking through was all these fire conditions. And here and here we have why we have intensify on spice, momentous intensify on two. All of a sudden, that season three vet cat play style of just getting in and intensifying the world is back. Um, but she's only got the two attacks because she's only got two influence. Except she's berserk. <laughs> um, so with that minus one defense due to the guild rule of intimidation, you're mostly going to be hitting on three ones. Or if they're knocked down on two ones, um, charging for one because of roast, there's a real chance of wrapping to the intensify <laughs> on that one. Um, which admittedly is only four damage, but it's four damage in a three inch pulse if everyone's on fire. This looks really interesting. This looks really, really interesting. Getting four attacks out, um, triggering intensify every single time. Of which one is a charge wrapping to the intensify. That is not unrealistically a if you're going into a knockdown target, so two one, that doesn't seem unlikely to be hitting ten damage in a three inch pulse. Which for anyone that has enjoyed unmaskings for days with Ghast or like Dan Adams's Fangtooth unmasking for days tactics, this must appeal. Is this this I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Dan over at Roll Better is incredibly excited in the prospect of wrapping to the uh, <laughs> wrapping to the intensify with this target. Let's do some quick maths. Let's have a look. Nine versus a two and one target is seven. You have a fifty-four percent chance of wrapping to the intensify versus a two-one target with nine dice. Throw a crowd out and there seventy-seven. That's more than a coin flop. God damn. That's spread out, spread out against cooks. Oh my lord! Um, she's also got to get over Peer Pepper. Good to know. Um, <laughs> wow, that is going to be a lot of damage pulsed out in the intensify. I don't think you ever really want to hit the turn up the heat yourself, especially in that first attack. Because I think she needs. Um, or I think she wants to wrap to the intensify on that charge. That's nasty. Oh. Yeah, don't bunch up against these. But then again, three-inch pulse um, from a single from a thirty mil model is an awful lot. What six and a half inches of uh, real estate on the board? That's a lot of space. That's going to be good to see. I'm just enthusing now. This isn't even a preview or a review. This is me just going. Oh, that's nasty. That's tasty. Enjoy. <laughs> 